accomplish our purposes. I now declare this third session of the 55th National Convention of the Future Farmers of America duly open for the transaction of business or attention to any matters which may properly be presented. Good evening and welcome to a very exciting session. Tonight we will be honoring the top FFA members in the nation, Future Farmers of America. Mr. President, the nomination and induction of the 1982 FFA National Hall of Achievement Achievers are as follows. Nominated for Achiever in Agribusiness, Roland M. Hendrickson. Roland Hendrickson was a Kimball, Minnesota FFA chapter member from 1937 to 1940. He taught vocational agriculture in 1946 to 1949. Mr. Hendrickson joined Pfizer Incorporated as product manager of feed supplements in 1962, named Pfizer Agricultural Division President in 1971, and Corporate Vice President in 1973. He served as the National FFA Sponsoring Committee Chairman in 1980. Mr. Hendrickson was the National Chairman of the $600,000 Fund Drive for the completion of the FFA National Hall of Achievement. Mr. Roland M. Hendrickson the FFA National Hall of Achievement Achiever at Large. <laughs> Nominated for Achiever in Agricultural Education, H. Neville Hunsicker. Neville Hunsicker was a charter member of the FFA from Boyce, Virginia. He taught vocational agriculture from 1931 to 1935. Mr. Hunsecker served as Superintendent of Agricultural Education in West Virginia, Program Specialist for the U.S. Office of Education, and the National FFA Advisor and Agricultural Education Head. He once stated, a farmer hears the highest calling of the land when he turns to agriculture as his life's work. He is satisfied to see a seed he planted begin to grow. He is made complete with harvest. A man perhaps answers the highest calling of this world when, he plant, when, he, when the plant he watches growing is a student. H. Neville Hunsicker is a man who has helped nurture and shape the lives of hundreds of thousands of young men and women all over this country. Mr. H. Neville Hunsicker, the National FFA Hall of Achievement Achiever in Agricultural Education. Nominated for Achiever in Agricultural Production, the late Jerry Litton. Jerry Litton was a Chillicothe, Missouri FFA chapter member from 1951 to 1955. For his FFA project in 1952, Mr. Litton tested Charley cattle performance. He served as National FFA Secretary from 1956 to 1957. Mr. Litton started Litton Charley Cattle Ranch with his parents and introduced computer breeding value analysis. In 1972, he was elected to the United States House of Representatives. From his early start in the FFA, Mr. Litton became involved in public speaking and other worthwhile activities at a continually expanding and rapid, rapid pace. His devotion to the FFA and vocational agriculture was always a top priority throughout his short and successful life. He never quit serving the FFA because he would always say, that's where I got my start. Accepting on behalf of the late Jerry Litton is his mother, Mrs. Mildred Litton. Would you please recognize the FFA achiever in agricultural production, the late Jerry Litton. Nominated for Achiever at Large, Don McDowell. Don McDowell was a Westville, Wisconsin FFA chapter member from 1930 to 1934. He served as a Wisconsin State FFA officer in 1933 to 1934 and taught vocational agriculture in 1938 to 1947. 
Mr. McDowell served as Wisconsin Secretary of Agriculture, Executive Director of the National FFA Foundation Sponsoring Committee, and on the National Advisory Council on Vocational Education. Mr. McDowell is an unbelievable dynamo of energy and optimism. He has been a driving force in bettering relationships between business and industry and vocational agricultural education. He has been an important link between the future farmers of America and all parts of business and government throughout his career. Mr. Don McDowell, the FFA National Hall of Achievement, Achiever at Large. <laughs> Nominated for Achiever in Leadership, President Jimmy Carter, President Carter was a Plains, Georgia FFA chapter member from 1937 to 1941. His first FFA project was building a model of the White House. He became President of the United States of America in 1977 through 1981. President Carter addressed national FFA conventions, state presidents conferences, and presented the Energy Efficiency Award to the FFA. I learned the value of agriculture, farm families, commitment, idealism, hope, truth, hard work, and patriotism from the FFA, said President Jimmy Carter, who is the FFA National Hall of Achievement Achiever for Leadership. President Carter was unable to be in attendance tonight, so our National FFA Advisor, Byron Rawls, will accept this award in his behalf. Mr. President, these five outstanding individuals are hereby inducted into the FFA National Hall of Achievement Achievers for 1982. Thank you, John, and congratulations, Hall of Achievers. Let's show them our appreciation one more time as they leave the stage. For some more enjoyment, let's once again call upon our National FFA Band under the direction of Mr. Roger Heath. <laughs> 